It's hard to believe we're at the final onslaught already. Like, my god, this game flies by. Oh, this does not bode well. It's... it's you! The Grey Warden! Andraste's mercy that you got here when you did. I thought for sure these monsters were going to get me. Just a few hours ago, not that long after everyone was evacuated to the castle, I thought I could make it to my home and back before they got here, but it took me too long to get down here. What a relief you arrived. Why would you, why would you leave the castle in the first place? I'm going to get out of here before any more of those things arrive. Thank you again. It will be done. Of course. Very of course. Now you die! This is a waste of time! Yes. Damn. Very well. Let's get up to the castle. Be. Die! 
Die quickly! This will not end well. Oh, here comes an ogre. Ogre Alpha. Very well. My lord, you're here. Thank goodness. Yeah, thank goodness for me. Somebody's gotta kill these fuckers. They are both inside with Riordan of the Grey Wardens, who arrived this morning, just ahead of the Darkspawn. I was told he has urgent news and to send out patrols to watch for your arrival. Then we were attacked. I should take you to the hall right away, my lord. They'll be waiting for you there. It is a relief to see you unharmed, and you as well, Alistair. The Darkspawn that attacked Redcliffe were relatively few in number, I'm afraid. It was assumed the Horde was marching in this direction, but that is not true. Riordan tells us that the bulk of the Horde is in fact heading towards Denerim. They are perhaps two days away from the capital. How certain are we that this is good information? I ventured close enough to listen in, as it were. I am quite certain. The Darkspawn line is wide, and many of them roam away from the main horde. Until now, most of them have been spotted here in the west. Not to mention that our forces have been distracted by the Civil War. There is, I'm afraid, one other piece of news that is of even greater concern. The Archdemon has shown itself. The Dragon is at the head of the horde. Make her preserve us. And we won't be able to reach Denerim within two days. We must begin a forced march to the capital immediately with what we have. Denerim must be defended at all costs. Hey, Eamon, I just noticed you changed armor. What the fuck? Perhaps not. But what is important is that we know where the Archdemon will be. If we do not defeat the Archdemon, it will not matter if Denerim is saved or the Horde defeated. And only the Grey Wardens can defeat the Archdemon. That is why we must go. Then we march. And hope the army collected here gives you the chance you need. Arleman, how long before the army can set out? By daybreak, your majesty. Then give the order. The longer we delay, the longer Denerim will be at the mercy of the Horde. See, she's so, like, confident and competent at her job. I feel good about deciding to make her queen. Like, I normally do Alistair, but it's not because I don't like Anora. It's because most of the time I play as a warden who, you know, befriends Alistair's and hardens him. And so he wants the throne, but I decided not to harden him this time, and so he doesn't want the throne. But I don't think there's a bad choice when it comes to these two. I think they both do a good job, dependent on whether or not Alistair is hardened. I was wondering that myself. Then, you don't know. We know jack shit! Of course not. You're both new recruits. Duncan wouldn't have expected. I will give the orders at once, and will notify you the moment we are ready to march. Excellent. Perhaps you and Alistair should meet me before you retire for the evening. There are... things we need to speak of. I will have someone show you to your rooms. I suggest you all get some rest while you can. We will need it. Sounds ominous. Very well. What the fuck? Is that the only... There should be more, shouldn't there? What about gloves and boots?
There's two sets of arcane gloves, but no... And two sets of arcane boots, but no scout boots or heavy armor boots and gloves. What the fuck? Well, I'll give these to Morgan, I guess. What about Wynn? Give these to Wynn. Good evening, my lord. It is an honor to meet you. I didn't actually mean to click on you, but... We are concerned that Darkspawn assassins might be sent into the camp to harm you or the king. No doubt you could defend yourself from such an attack, but we would prefer you to rest easy. For a few hours, at least. Of course, my lord. Good luck to you. No, I can't. There's nothing left in the chest. Okay. And now Denerim is under assault by the Darkspawn. And so Logain's daughter sits on the throne. The Therin bloodline is ended. I suppose you did what you did for your own reasons, Warden, but I wish it could have turned out differently. Anora is a decent woman, I don't give a fuck woman, what you wish. She is much like her father. I suppose we shall see exactly what that means in time. Ah. Oh. We have sent messengers to Orlais. With any luck, the Empress will send us help within a week. I think it entirely possible, however, that she has written Ferelden off as a lost cause already, and will seek to defend her empire first. Perhaps the Grey Wardens of Orlais will be able to march and reach us in time. We should not rely on their arrival, even so. I wish you luck, Grey Warden, for all our sakes. And what word have we from Orzammar? Has House Claret sent their men or haven't they? They're stalling, which is as good as a no. House Claret's feud with House Romald has flared up again since their son died in that Deep Roads business. So naturally they are pleading the need for self-defense. Huh. <laughs> Fine time to start with that nonsense again. I've half a mind to... Ah. Evening to you, Grey Warden. I didn't realize you were still up and about. I didn't realize Orzammar was still hung up on politics, but I guess I shouldn't have been surprised. Nothing that can be dealt with now, I'm afraid. Just one of the houses being thicker than the stone that made them. Once all of this blight business is done, there will be a reckoning in the assembly. They're probably half hoping we'll all wind up dead. That way they'll have one of the strongest forces left in Orzammar. Enough to face the Darkspawn all on their own, I suppose? That's exactly the kind of half hours thinking that got us into the mess after Endrin passed. It was our good fortune that you decided to go to Orzammar when you did, Grey Warden. For all that a surfacer needed our help, I expect we needed yours more. Right. Off to camp with both of you, and keep the drunkenness to a minimum. We have a long way to go yet. Pleasant evening to you, Grey Warden, and good fortune on the field of battle. Here's all my folks. I am yours. Again? I'm game. Just making sure you got I nothing else to say. If they're dirty ones, certainly. What's on your mind? It is no trouble. What is your wish, Kadan? Speak, then. Then I suggest we move on. As you wish. I am listening. It doesn't have better things to do. I do not sleep, so yes. And I thank it for reminding me. Try to imagine, if it will, what it would be like to be surrounded by nothing but boring peasants all oblivious to it. And then, there were the birds. A whole village full of pigeons and ravens and sparrows all perching on me day in and day out. 
it is not a thing. It is a perfectly reasonable reaction to being constantly pestered. I was helpless to react. Those foolish villagers would spread bird seed near me, drawing the birds, because they thought having birds perch on me was quaint. Quaint! If there hadn't been the occasional kind soul to scour me clean, I would... I would... I don't care to discuss this anymore. You've seen and touched Andraste's ashes. They are the holiest thing on this earth. The remains of the Maker's Chosen. Yeah, we're a little late with your reaction, but... Maybe it is belief and faith that imbues them with their power, or just maybe Andraste really was blessed by him. I do not know if I am worthy to look upon her. Why shouldn't I? I don't understand. Then let us move on. I got a moment, hey, sure. What about? All right. Aye, all right then. Well, that's everyone. Oh. Ah, fancy meeting you here. I heard rumors that Redcliffe was once again open for business, but my world isn't this amazing. Such bustle. The Oral has kindly offered my son and I lodgings in exchange for supplies. I'm happy to help him. And you too, of course. If you have need of my wares, you have but to ask. I'm sure you'll be pleased with the goods my boy and I have collected, and with your discount. Yes. Very well. What comes, my friend? There you are. Let's go see what Riordan has to say. Yes, let's. You're both here. Good. Please know I assumed you had already been told. Otherwise, I would have told you this when you freed me in Denerim. I'm sorry. What is it? What are you apologizing for? Tell me. Have you ever wondered why the Grey Wardens are needed to defeat the Darkspawn? That is exactly what it involves. The Archdemon may be slain, as any other Darkspawn, but should any other than a Grey Warden do the slaying, it will not be enough. The essence of the beast will pass through the taint to the nearest Darkspawn and will be reborn anew in that body. The dragon is thus all but immortal. But if the Archdemon is slain by a Grey Warden, its essence travels into the Grey Warden instead. Oh, my. A Darkspawn is an empty, soulless vessel, but a Grey Warden is not. The essence of the Archdemon is destroyed, and so is the Grey Warden. Meaning... the Grey Warden who kills the Archdemon... dies? Yes. Without the Archdemon, the Blight ends. It is the only way. As far as we know, 
The transfer of the Archdemon's essence is automatic. If one of us is not present when the killing blow is made, it is all for nothing. There is no other way. For what it's worth, I'm sorry. We keep it secret for the same reason the joining is kept secret. Who would become a Grey Warden if they knew the end that might await them? And yet there must be Grey Wardens. Without us there is no hope. In Blight's past, when the time came, the eldest of the Grey Wardens would decide which amongst them would take that final blow. If possible, the final blow should be mine to make. I am the eldest and the taint will not spare me much longer. But if I fail, the deed falls on you. The blight must be stopped now, or it will destroy all of Ferelden before the rest of the Grey Wardens can assemble. Remember that. But enough. There will be much to do tomorrow and little enough time to rest before it. I will let you return to your rooms. I will see you once the army is ready to march then. I guess this ends soon, one way or another. That it does, my friend. That it does. Oh, Riordan, you sure have a way with words. You should get some sleep before morning. There will be much to do when we are marching. Do not be alarmed. It is only I. I am well. Tis you who are in danger. I have a plan, you see. A way out. The loop in your hole. I know what happens when the Archdemon dies. I know a Grey Warden must be sacrificed, and that sacrifice could be you. I have come to tell you that this does not need to be. I offer a way out. A way out for all the Grey Wardens that there need be no sacrifice. A ritual. Performed on the eve of battle, in the dark of night. Hmm. How does Dauronon feel about this? It is old magic. From a time before the Circle of Magi was created. Some would call it blood magic. But I think that means little to one like you. From Flemeth, of course. I have known about it for some time. I did. Would you have believed me if I had been the one to tell you? I have my doubts. Perhaps, but that price need not be so unbearable, especially if there is much to be gained. All I ask is that you listen to what I have to offer, nothing more. What I propose is this. Lay with me, here tonight, and from our joining, a child will be conceived. The child will bear the taint, and when the Archdemon is slain, its essence will seek the child like a beacon. At this early stage, the child can absorb that essence and not perish. The Archdemon is still destroyed with no Grey Warden dying in the process. Think about what I offer you. The chance to avoid death, or better yet, the chance to slay the Archdemon and live as a hero. No Grey Warden has ever done this. In return, I conceive a child, one who will be born with the soul of an old god. After this is done, you allow me to walk away, and you do not follow, ever. The child will be mine to raise as I wish. As you wish. Ignoring that after but one night it could barely be called a child, no, it will not be hurt. It will be changed. Okay, I meant long term, but... Allow me to say that what I seek is the essence of the old god that once was, and not the dark forces that corrupted it. Some things are worth preserving in this world. Make of that what you will. No. You never will. 
This is all I ask in return for freeing you from the burden the Grey Wardens have placed upon you. I do not wish to tell you. The child will represent freedom. For an ancient power, a chance to be reborn apart from the taint. Is that not reason enough to do it? I will raise the child apart from the rest of society and teach it to respect that from which it came. Beyond that, you need know nothing else. Then you have decided? This is what my mother intended when she sent me with you. She was the one who first gave me this ritual and told me of what I was meant to do. This does not surprise you, does it? Did you not wonder why Flemeth saved your life? Why she aided you? This is why. What is important is that I am offering this to you now. It will work, and it will save your life. Why? Because of Zevran? Do you really believe that he would risk your death when it could be avoided? Consider the possibility that Riordan may not be there to make the final blow as he plans. What then? Do you run away? Do you let Alistair, the future king of Ferelden, take the blow instead? And what if he does not make it to the Archdemon either? Would you truly choose death rather than lay with me for one night? Would you deny yourself the tomorrows and all its rewards? All right, let's do this. A wise decision. Come to me then, and we shall make this last night together something to remember. Oh, this is so awkward. wake up the next morning. So, <laughs> we have gathered all the forces we can. The Darkspawn Horde is sure to reach the capital before us. And so we must race to Denerim as quickly as we can. The lives of many thousands hang in the balance. We must not forsake them. You have gathered an army to replace the one lost at Ostagar, Grey Warden. Let us pray that it will be enough. Very atmospheric sky. Before us stands the might of the Darkspawn Horde. Gaze upon them now, but fear them not. The man you see beside me is an elf, raised to the ranks of the Grey Wardens, and never a more glorious Grey Warden has there been. He has survived despite the odds, and without him, none of us would be here. Today, we save Denerim! Today, we avenge the death of my husband, your King Caelan! But most of all, today we show the Grey Wardens that we remember and honor their sacrifice. For Ferelden! For the Grey Wardens! I love her.
Why are they red? Again, must be a glitch. Here we fucking go! We must strike quickly! Time to dance! This is good! Yes. Cannot use object. Okay. Very well. There is no hope for you now. Of course, when it's the grunts, I'm actually hitting something. Of course. Sand there. It will be foolish. Another battle, I see. You've managed to fight your way to the gates. We're doing better than I hoped. Surprising, isn't it? That will change quickly. Bloody Nug Runners are outnumbered three to one! What are we to do now, Riordan? You have a plan, I assume? The army will not last long, so we need to move quickly to reach the Archdemon. I suggest taking Alistair and no more than two others with you into the city. Anyone you don't bring with you can remain here to prevent more Darkspawn from entering Denerim on our tails. We're going to need to reach a high point in the city. I'm thinking the top of Fort Draken might work. The top of... you want to draw the dragon's attention? We have little choice, though I warn you that as soon as we engage the beast it will call all its generals to help it. I can sense two generals in Denerim. You may wish to seek them out before going to Fort Draken. I am sure that if we did slay those generals, it would stop the Darkspawn in the city from doing a lot of harm. It may also waste resources trying to find them. The decision is up to you. Neither of them are near Fort Draken currently, but there are too many Darkspawn here to tell you more. There are already several units of our allies within the city by now. They may be able to come to your assistance if you call them, but their strength will be limited. Now, who do you wish to take with you into the city? Yes. Yes. Indeed. Fair enough. Anyone else will need to remain here and assist in keeping more Darkspawn from coming in the gates behind us. Who will lead them? 
Very likely. Good. That should be sufficient. Nothing you have done has prepared you for what you face now. May the Maker watch over you. So this is it, then. All that we've been through has led up to this. Whatever happens now, to either of us, know that I am proud, infinitely proud, to have called you friend. Farewell, and may the Maker watch over you. Well, this is it, Warden. When from the blood of battle the stone is fed, let the heroes prevail and the blighters lie dead. <laughs> As one of the blighters, I sodding salute you. Let's show them our hearts, and then show them theirs. So the Archdemon is next, is it? Part of me is glad that it has decided to leave me here at the gate, but the other part is apprehensive. I would almost say that I feel concern for something other than myself, even maybe for a soft, squishy companion. But that would be silly, wouldn't it? About me, I am not the one going up against a giant dragon with little more than wishful thinking. And, uh, do try not to get swallowed whole. If the beast were to fly about afterwards and poop it out, irony would dictate that it would land on me. I couldn't take it. Well then, I suppose this is it. Have fun storming the castle. Are you ready? We have reached the battlefield at last. I have done nothing. You have carried us this far. Do not doubt that. So this is it? This is the end? We've come so far. It's strange knowing that all our fates will be decided in a matter of hours. I wish I could go with you. I respect your decision to keep me here, even though I would have gladly stood by your side even to the death. You have been a true friend, and I... I will be extremely cross with you if you don't return. Aww. Be careful out there. How Why would you... What, what was so that with we Alistair? Head into the city together. As it should be. Once this is done, no matter how it turns out, I will be gone. You are aware of this, yes? You are most welcome. It is, I think, the very least I could offer you. <sighs> Allow me to say only one thing before we go. I knew nothing of friendship before we met. And I will always consider you such. Live well, my friend. Live gloriously. Now, let us see this finally done. The Archdemon awaits. Before we head after the Archdemon, I want to say something. Either we both die trying to kill it, or one of us dies making the final blow. Either way, both of us aren't walking out of here. So I just want you to know that it's been an honor fighting by your side. Oh yeah, you don't know. Let's find this archdemon then, and kick its ass. So, we head into the city to face the archdemon together, do we? Just as it should be. If this should be the last we speak, I want you to know, assassinating you was the luckiest thing that could have happened to me. Aww. Yes. Yes, I, I know that. Oh, the music. I hope most of the people were able to flee on ships before the Horde got here. Oh, man. Kill those godless bastards! We're counting on you, Warden! 